Believe none of what you are told and only half of what you see. Let's say it again. <clears throat> Believe none of what you are told and only half of what you see. You see this whole thing with Lowell Hawthorne, uh, the Golden Cross founder, committing suicide kind of thing. Listen, I don't know why people find it so easy to settle for what they are told instead of using their brains to think outside the box. Now, SoFlow TV never got to where SoFlow TV is as this vlogging thing goes by just simply thinking in the box, coloring within the lines, and taking what we're told and just believing that it is so. Right? So over here, so we bring the hot topic them come and we'll suss them out properly. Hear me. I'm going to say some things. I'm going to read through something first. But I want you to keep in mind a couple of things. I want you to keep in mind Black Wall Street. I want you to keep in mind. And if you don't know what about Black Wall Street, go look it up. Just pause this video right here. Double Go over upon my next page and open up and look up Black Wall Street. If you don't know about Black Wall Street, come even more modern times. Bill Cosby. Alright. Now, here's the update to the whole thing. They're saying that there was tax liens against the man's business and he was in fear of the IRS coming in because he owed money and all other kinds of stuff. They were saying that a suicide note was left behind. They're saying that he did confide in one or two family members or one family member. They're saying all kind of things they're saying. You see me? I definitely am looking outside and thinking outside this box here. I don't buy it for one second. Remember I told y'all before. It's very easy. Right? Always a, a black person willing to sell out. It's nothing. It's very easy. That's why we're so easily conquered. We're easily bought and sold. It's nothing to draw one family member aside and say. Yo, here is one million dollars. You go that way. When we kill him. You come on to the media. And you're going to be our spokesperson to say. Yes, he did confide in us that he was worried about blah, 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 and rah, rah, to coincide with our story to make things seem legitimate. Now, taken from the Daily News, the New York Times and Daily News, right? Golden Cross CEO was plagued by tax debt. This is today's update. Everybody been wondering, why him do it? Did he leave a suicide note, rah, rah? Today's headline is saying that he was plagued by tax debt and a lawsuit over stiffing workers out of thousands of dollars before his suicide. Supposedly it was overtime pay and I don't know how, you know some companies skimp on the overtime pay like after 8 hours of labor in a day an individual is supposed to be paid time and a half for every hour after, right? But some companies still continue to pay just the same $8 an hour. As an example, instead of $8 an hour plus a half of that, which would put you at $12 an hour after your 8 hour day. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of companies get off on this. They're saying that he was caught up in a lawsuit with this. Me not buy that for one second. And even if that was so, this is nothing that he could have gotten out of. You must understand that this is a man and a company, right? They own 16, 16, not 6. 16 restaurants before they even began to franchise out. 16 of them was already family owned. So if like a chump money will come up here and there. And let me tell you, real estate in, in New York City is extremely expensive. What you pay for an apartment in New York City, you can't pay for one house in other states like Florida. Beautiful South Florida. Right? Now, for them to own 16 restaurants in a city like New York. That tell me some money did I run heavy. Had to have been in the millions, right? This is before even franchising. This story says that the owner of Golden Cross restaurant chain who committed suicide in his Bronx factory was deep in tax debt and was being sued by a former staffer for thousands of lost wages, thousands of dollars in lost wages, court records show. I don't think that was enough to bring down Golden Cross and I definitely don't think that was enough for this man to commit suicide. Listen. Let's break it down in numbers. Remember I know. I'm going to say it again. 
Let's talk about Bill Cosby and we're gonna talk about Black Wall Street. More so about Bill Cosby. Watch this. Lowell Horton was worried about the lean, and this is what the newspaper is saying, was worried about the liens, which included more than $150,000 in city taxes on the company's buildings. $160,000 is small money. Sell back one franchise and $160,000 would have been more than covered. Right? Furthermore, for those who are saying that he was afraid of the um, probe, the IRS coming in and they might have made off with all his wealth, I don't think that would have happened. I think even if they came in and they found something wrong and it showed that he owed a lot of money to the IRS, it still wouldn't have been enough. This is a black family owned business. You think the IRS would have allowed them to run up bills in the billions or hundreds of millions like some enormous number that would take down 16 chains of restaurants before they came knocking at their door? I highly doubt it. Okay? I highly doubt it. $150,000 is what they're putting as the exact amount in the newspaper. He also owed at least $15,000 in state taxes, the records show. Now, come on now. $15,000 in state taxes, what is that? What is fifteen grand? Authorities also said that they discovered a note that Horton left before he shot himself in the head Saturday afternoon. They did not disclose what he wrote. Now has this note been verified? Does his wife look at the note and say yes this is definitely his handwriting? Or did she look at the note and say yeah it's similar to his handwriting but I can tell that he wrote this under duress. Gun to your head write this shit now. Think outside the box. In addition to Horton's tax issues a former maintenance staffer was suing him in Manhattan Federal Court. One time employee Robert Ray said he was never paid for overtime he worked during his 11 year tenure. So, after working for a company for 11 years, you say you're never, you've never been paid for 11 years and this is enough to make the man kill himself. Ray, Ray's May 8 lawsuit contend more than 100 other Golden Cross staffers were similarly stiffed on overtime. This is what his lawsuit is saying. So it's one person that's suing and that one person is saying that more than 100 others experienced the same thing. Those 100 others hadn't come forward yet. The case which seeks class action status is pending. Okay? Harton's popular restaurant chain did not outwardly appear to be struggling while allegedly cutting corners as it served up meat patty jerk treats and pastries. That's how they put it in the newspaper. Some of the staffers said that they suspected something was wrong when they saw his silver Tesla parked oddly outside the factory straddling two lanes. I'm wondering if he parked it that way oddly to tip someone off. Because he had always come to his factory and he had always never parked inappropriately. All right. None of this makes sense. Of course, they go on to say that they're shocked and they're saddened. Now you're talking about $15,000. What is that? There are now 120 stores in nine states, supplying more than, than $18,000 stores and supermarkets. What is $15,000 to kill yourself for in this position? I'm not buying it. Now... Let me say this, right? When the whole Bill Cosby thing came about, I looked at it as something simple. And I said, okay, Bill Cosby is mixed up in the whole brotherhood of the whole, you know what. You don't get prime time on television, the media, front page, front line, unless you have certain connections. You understand? And unless you stand up and represent a certain agenda. If you go against that certain agenda, they pull your card real quick and you're no longer on primetime anymore. The purpose of primetime media is to sway people in the direction the powers that be wants people to be swayed. Plain and simple. Now, I remember when the whole thing came about with Bill Cosby. And an elder sat, sat me down and an elder said to me, you know, so Flo, watch this. 
Remember saying up, Bill Cosby, The Cosby Show, the only black show that showed the black family in a positive light where mom and dad were married, a couple, living together. They never in a no fight, fight, mix up, drama, so, 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 nothing. They were raising their children, two professionals. You had a doctor and a lawyer, right? What an example. Their children all went off to college. What an example. That's the only black show that ever aired on U.S. television like this. Do you think that they wanted this legacy to continue? And then we start looking to the thing on me. I said, blood I ain't even. I never looked at it like that. I just simply looked at it as, yeah, Bill Cosby get caught up now. And, but after really looking into the thing, I was like, wow. And then look at the way that they did Bill Cosby. All that drama and media hoopla, again, using what they own and control, the power of their media. The same man them built up with the power of their media. They used the power of their media and tore him all the way down. Reduced Bill Cosby to nothing. Do you know that you start to make money off of your shows when they go into syndication? Syndication means you start collecting them fat ass checks, not even showing up to work. Because the hundreds of series that you spent years building, filming, are now about to be ran in repeat over on and over on multiple networks all across the world. They took that away from Bill Cosby. So, the Cosby show is not in syndication. Bigger than that, they did not want that legacy to continue. Has there been another black show? What do we have now that represents black people as far as reality TV or TV shows or sitcoms? You can name all of them out. Are they things to be proud of? Are they good representations of us? As a people? Alright. Go look at Black Wall Street. Alright. Now, here's my thing. Someone else said to me, Yo, Soflo. What if? What if? Because Golden Cross was about to go global. Right? Golden Cross was about to go global. So what if he was stepping into the realm of the big boys? And they're saying that, no, you can't come in here. And he wasn't taking their no for an answer. He was unapologetically going to do it anyways. In what way? He was stepping into the realm of the big brands like the Taco Bells, the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the KFCs. Are any of these big brands that have now gone global, are any of them owned by a black family? Talk up. Got me one know. Golden Cross would have been the first one. Yeah? So they had to stop this. And what better way to stop it than this? And if y'all don't stop pushing this brand in that direction, more of you are going to die. We'll take out the head and we'll let you live off his life insurance money. And you can continue to run your brand franchising, but you stay at that level. You don't play on a stock market level. It's just something for a food for thought for y'all. Think about it. I refuse to believe that this man killed himself. And I don't care what the media puts up front and says, this has been presented, this has been presented, this has been presented. I'm chopping it all through and I'm looking at it. $150,000 in city taxes, $15,000 in state taxes, 
one lawsuit from one individual who claims that he worked for me for 11 years and never once received overtime pay and also claiming that there were about 100 other employees that worked for that 11 years and never received overtime pay. That's not enough for me to kill myself. I'm not saying me, I'm saying him. I don't see it as the reason. And I'm sure that this man had his business sewn up so tightly that he would have never let all this go through the cracks like this. When your business is growing wildly successful like Golden Crust was growing, you are going to run into these hiccups and these hitches. All you do is, in my head, to have sold back a couple franchises, hire some good attorneys, and hire some good uh, accountants, and get his books balanced, pay who forget pay, and keep on on his merry way. So there has to be more to this story than this. But, but, it's already been said, this is what it is. They have it on front page, and I know that no one's going to question this, the way I'm questioning this. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let's talk about this one some more. Matter of fact, this will be the last video on this issue. I want Mr. Lowell Hartorn to rest in peace. I want to dig up the thing more and more and more. But we'll let these three videos that we've done so far, this being the third one, trend. Right? And you can always come back to the channel as new things develop. And leave your comments in the comment section below. It's Soflow TV. I'm up out of here. Peace.